In this video, I will compare the Intel Core i5-10300H and AMD Ryzen 5-5600H, highlighting their differences, and then provide a conclusion to help you determine which one is the better choice. This Ryzen 5600H released around 8 months after release of Intel 10300H. The Ryzen 5600H was released approximately 8 months after the Intel 10300H. The Intel 10300H features 4 performance cores and 8 performance threads, while the Ryzen 5600H boasts 6 performance cores and 12 performance threads. Having more cores and threads proves beneficial for multitasking and handling demanding workloads such as video editing or 3D rendering. The Ryzen 5600H exhibits a higher base clock frequency compared to the Intel 10300H, making it advantageous when the CPU is under normal load. While the Intel 10300H has a slightly higher boost clock frequency, its lower core count compared to the Ryzen 5600H means it may not perform as effectively, especially under heavy CPU loads. The L1 cache size for both of these processors is the same, but the L2 and L3 cache sizes of the Ryzen 5600H are 512KB and 16MB, respectively, which are greater than those of the Intel 10300H consequently. The Ryzen 5600H generally leads to improved system performance by enabling the processor to quickly store and retrieve more data and instructions, reducing the need to fetch data from slower main memory. The Ryzen 5 5600H supports up to 64GB of RAM, while the Intel 10300H supports up to 128GB of RAM. For RAM support, the Ryzen 5 5600H accommodates LPDDR4 and DDR4, whereas the Intel 10300H supports DDR4 RAM only. Additionally, the frequency support for RAM in the Ryzen is greater than that in the Intel, enhancing the communication speed between RAM and CPU in the case of the Ryzen processor. Both processors support integrated graphics, with the boost frequency of the Ryzen 5600H at 1800MHz and that of the Intel i7-10300H at 1050MHz. The higher boost clock frequency for the integrated graphics in the Ryzen makes it potentially perform slightly better in graphical activities. The Ryzen 5 5600H supports ECC, whereas the Intel 10300H does not. Therefore, for critical systems, the Ryzen 5 5600H is much better than the Intel 10300H. As the Intel Core 10300H supports the latest PCI version compared to Ryzen, it allows for more simultaneous data transfers. With more PCI lanes, the Intel processor excels in expanding connectivity and accommodating high-performance components. Both of these processors can withstand peak temperatures of up to 100 degrees Celsius. The TDP of the Ryzen is configurable, while the TDP of the Intel is not. The TDP of the Ryzen processor ranges from 35 to 54 watts, whereas the TDP of the Intel 10300H is 45 watts. Opt for the configurable TDP if you prioritize battery life and portability. It's worth noting that the Ryzen processor is more expensive than the Intel 10300H processor. Now let's look at benchmarks comp region. Cinebench R23 is a cross-platform benchmark software that measures the rendering performance of your CPU, Cinebench R23 is a good benchmark for measuring the performance of CPUs in tasks that require a lot of processing power, such as video editing, 3D animation, and rendering. It is also a good indicator of how well your CPU will perform in games that use a lot of CPU power. In Cinebench R23 single as well as multicore this Ryzen SSEMS to be better. Geekbench 5 is a good benchmark for measuring the overall performance of your computer, not just the CPU. It is a good choice if you want to get a general idea of how well your computer will perform in everyday tasks. In this Geekbench V5 also this Ryzen seems to be better than Intel in both single core and multi core. So now ultimate choose between the processor is upon you so choose wisely by looking at these specifications and benchmarks. If you like this video please like share and subscribe to the channel. Also click on bell icon to never miss any update.